In this video, I am going to discuss assignment problem. Assignment problem is a special case of transportation problem in which M jobs assigned to N persons in order to minimize the assignment cost or processing time, provided that each job assigned to exactly one person. This assignment technique is used to assign a right job to right person to complete the task on time with the minimum cost. This assignment technique is mainly used in business and timetable framing in schools and colleges. The next one is balanced assignment problem. In an assignment problem, if the number of rows equal to number of columns, then the problem is a balanced one. The next one is Hungarian algorithm. This method is used to find the optimum assignment schedule, minimum processing time or minimum assignment cost. For that, first you have to check the balance condition. That is whether the number of rows is equal to number of columns or not. Next you go for row reduction. Identify the least element from each row and subtract it from all the elements in that row. Next, column reduction. In the reduced matrix, you have to identify the least element from each column and subtract it with all the elements in that column. After row reduction and column reduction, we have to find the assignment. For that, we have to go for row scanning. Starting from the first row, if there is exactly one zero means we have to mark square around that zero and draw a vertical line passing through that zero. Otherwise, skip that row. After row scanning, you have to check all the zeros are covered with lines. If so, find the assignment schedule and the minimum processing time or cost. Otherwise, go for column scanning. In the column scanning, starting from the first column, if there is exactly one zero means you have to mark square around that zero and draw a horizontal line passing through that zero. After column scanning, check whether all zeros are covered with lines. If so, check whether the number of rows is equal to the number of marked squares. If yes, then the solution is optimal. After that, we have to find the optimum assignment schedule and minimum processing time or minimum assignment cost. Now, let me explain the assignment technique. A company has four machines to do four jobs. Each job can be assigned to one and only machine. The processing time of each machine on each job given below. You are required to identify the assignment that will minimize the cost. The processing time of each machine on each job is given here. You have to find the optimum assignment schedule that will minimize the cost. The first step we have to check the balanced condition that is number of rows is equal to number of columns or not. Horizontal one is row, the vertical one is column. So the number of rows 1, 2, 3, 4. The number of columns 1, 2, 3, 4. Number of rows is equal to 4. Number of columns is equal to 4. Here number of rows is equal to number of columns. So the problem is a balanced one. Step 2. Row reduction. Identify the least element from each row and subtract it from all the elements in that row. In the first row, the minimum number is 8. You write the number here. The second row, the minimum number is 7. Third row, the minimum number is 12. Fourth row, the minimum number is 4. The first row, the minimum number is 8. With this you subtract all the elements. That is 11 minus 8, 3. 17 minus 8, 9. 8 minus 8, 0. 16 minus 8, 8. Second row least number is 7. So 9 minus 7 is 2. 
सेवन माइनस सेवन जीरो ट्वेल्व माइनस सेवन फाइव सिक्सटीन माइनस सेवन नाइन थर्ड रो लीस्ट नंबर इज ट्वेल्व दट एज थर्टीन माइनस ट्वेल्व इज वन सिक्सटीन माइनस ट्वेल्व इज फोर फिफ्टीन माइनस ट्वेल्व इज थ्री ट्वेल्व माइनस ट्वेल्व इज जीरो द फोर्थ रो द लीस्ट नंबर इज फोर विद दिस यू सब्रैक्ट ऑल द एलिमेंट्स दट इज फोर माइनस फोर जीरो टेन माइनस फोर सिक्स ट्वेल्व माइनस फोर एट फोर्थ रो द लीस्ट नंबर इज फोर दट इज फोर माइनस फोर इज इक्वल टू जीरो टेन माइनस फोर सिक्स ट्वेल्व माइनस फोर एट एंड लेवन माइनस फोर इज सेवन नेक्स्ट स्टेप कॉलम रिडक्शन इन द रेड्यूस्ड मैट्रिक्स ईच कॉलम कंटाइंस जीरो सो यू विल गेट द सेम मैट्रिक्स दट इज थ्री नाइन जीरो एट टू जीरो फाइव नाइन वन फोर थ्री जीरो जीरो सिक्स एट सेवन सो रो रिडक्शन एंड कॉलम रिडक्शन इज ओवर नेक्स्ट स्टेप वी हैव टू फाइंड दी असाइनमेंट फॉर फाइंडिंग दी असाइनमेंट वी हैव टू परफॉर्म रो स्कैनिंग फर्स्ट फॉर रो स्कैनिंग इन द फर्स्ट रो you have only one zero if you have one zero you have to mark square for that if you have more than one zero you have to skip that row here we have only one zero so i mark square for that and draw a vertical line passing through that zero now go to the second row the second row you have only one zero so you put a square then you have to draw a vertical line passing through that zero then you have to go to third row third row you have only one zero you put a square and immediately you have to draw a vertical line passing through that zero the last row you have only one zero so you put a square on it and immediately you have to draw a line passing through that zero now you have to check each row and each column contains single assignment or not the first row you have one assignment second row one assignment third row you have one assignment and fourth row you have one assignment similarly column wise first column you have one assignment second column one assignment and third column one assignment fourth column one assignment each row and each column contains a single assignment so the current assignment is optimal you can check in some other way that is number of rows is equal to number of squares marked here number of rows is equal to 4 and the number of squares is equal to 4 so we can say that at the current assignment is optimal next step we have to find the optimum assignment schedule and minimum processing time for this particular problem we have some four machines a b c D मशीन ये असाइन टू जॉब और मशीन ये असाइन टू जॉब और मशीन बी असाइन टू जॉब क्यू मशीन सी असाइन टू जॉब एस एंड मशीन डी असाइन टू जॉब पी मशीन सी असाइन टू जॉब एस एंड मशीन डी असाइन टू जॉब पी we have to find the corresponding processing time from the given problem machine a assigned to job or so the processing time is 8 machine b assigned to job q so the processing time is 7 machine c assigned to job s so the processing time is 12 machine d assigned to job p so the processing time is 4 Now we have to write the processing time for machine A job R. The processing time is eight. Machine B job Q. The processing time is seven. Machine C job S. The processing time is twelve. Machine D job P. The processing time is four. The total value was thirty-one. The optimum assignment schedule is. A to R, B to Q, C to S, D to 
P. In this way, we have to find the optimum assignment schedule using Hungarian algorithm. Hope you all understand. Thank you for watching.